Welcome to the High Voltage Light Electric Vehicle Channel. This video is a follow up to a video I did like ages ago on a weldless battery system called the OmniCell. It was kind of put on the back burner a bit, but I really need a 12 volt secondary battery for my bike right now. So I'm going to be using this kit to make one. I have also got this four socket USB charging port as well. Um, so I want to use this to power some of my devices as well as running a 12 volt lighting system. This is going to be uh, a very simple 3S, 3P battery, and it's using the MoleCell P42A cells to give a 12 watt battery when combined with a 12 amp hour capacity. And I'm going to be using this pre-wired BMS for the job. And all I need to do is with this, make three parallel groups of cells and then connect each of these parallel groups of cells to the BMS with the three points. And then this will do the work of adding those voltages together in series to give me a combined output of 12 volts, which I think is a slightly unusual way of doing things, um, but it should make wiring this up pretty easy. Um, I'm going to go through the stages um, before I do anything though, um, I have checked all of these voltages and they are all at the storage charge of 3.51 or 3.52. So I know all these cells are the same before I start connecting anything together. So the first stage though, is to arrange the batteries in these holders um, into three parallel groups. Um, so I'll do that. So once they're all lined up, you can then just check around the top and just make sure that everything's seated correctly. Um, but it does feel like really quite quite a solid unit now these are all now these are all locked into place. So once they're arranged, um, the next part is to use these clips here on the sides. And what these do is they lock everything together and they work counter to the screws which push in um, and connect up uh, the uh, the braid here. Um, so I'm going to get these clips on the side and that will make sure these two sides are connected first. So after the clips are in place, um, and I did find these quite quite stiff actually getting them on, but what I found was that if you, if you put them in the right position, you could then lever them into position using the hard surface uh, on the table. But they certainly clip on like very, very firmly. Um, this whole thing feels rock solid. So the next stage is to get the, the wire braid and use that to connect the parallel circuits on the top and on the bottom, which will give me three parallel groups of cells. So this here is the first piece of braid that's been measured and inserted in through the slots at the side. So this is gonna make the positive side of the first parallel group. Um, so you make the connections uh, using these uh, screws um, and they have a little raised part that forces the braid down and makes connection with the battery terminal. Um, I'm using like an improvised tool for this. Uh, I was sent one originally, um, but all you do is pop them in and then you turn them down until they lock firmly into position. And that pressure downwards from the screw works counter to the uh, the clips at the side here. So it, it holds it down onto, onto the terminal. So I'm going to wire up the rest of this um, and show you what it looks like when it's, uh, when it's all done. So this is the battery uh, with all of the connections made. Uh, I have three uh, parallel groups of, uh, currently they're all 3.52 volts and I've checked that with the, with the multimeter. So the last part of this process here for now is to connect uh, this BMS unit up to the three parallel groups and then internally of this is circuitry that will add those up so I should be able to then measure a correct voltage on this side and also charge the battery from this side of things as well. So this is what the completed battery looks like. I've made all the connections um, for the, the positive and the negatives of the three parallel groups. Um, so all I need to do now is to get the charging end of this sorted out. And I think I have to wake this BMS up um, with a charge before it'll start. Uh, registering any output as 12 volts. So I will get that done and I will be back. Okay, so all I did was I took this through into my workshop and I just touched the end with a 12 volt power supply, um, very small current, and that's woken up the BMS unit inside of that. So if I use the multimeter now here, 
you can see that there is 10.55 volts coming through the end of this, um, which is at the lower end of a 12 volt battery. So from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually make some casing stuff for this. Um, so it's a bit more tidy, so I can basically put it inside of a case and also probably integrate this charging unit into there. Uh, I just need to get um, a proper plug on this. Um, I might do a separate um, feed off for the ports uh, to, to charge it as well. Um, I'm already gonna have to do one, like a separate feed off to run these. And then I'm also gonna need one to run um, like a 12 volt system as well. So I'm gonna figure out what I want for that. And then I'm gonna design something that basically goes in and around this. And I'm also gonna do um, a bit of testing um, on this um, with vibration and things like that. Um, because I, I know there's a few people that are probably a bit skeptical um, about these connections. So I'm gonna give it some heavy vibration testing and see what happens. And uh, yeah, because I, I don't really wanna use glue on it. I, I could use uh, a drop of glue on each of these and then use the hardener, but I, I'd rather see how it works um, like this. So I'll get that done and we'll do some testing with it. And uh, yeah, lots more on this. So thanks very much for watching. Uh, special thanks to the channel members that have joined. Um, very much appreciated your, your contributions to the channel and it really helps things keep running. Um, so there'll be another video on the Omnicell and hopefully not as long a time away um, from the first one that I did on it. Uh, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching and cheers.